officially made it to Hanover in the Northern Cape. It is situated right next to the N1, so it is like <laughs> I want to the perfect spot in terms of like the middle ground of from where we came from because <sighs> it was supposed to be a six hour drive but we knew it was more or less gonna be like eight hours given that we were gonna do like stops because Courtney's the main driver so he has to stop um anyway but <sighs> I did not anticipate that the route that our one host had given us was going to take us four hours to get through or to plow through because the potholes were so horrendous like they're not even potholes they are the size of like dams like that's how bad not the dam a puddle or a like pond. it is literally so the whole bad. Road, not just one lane that's in both lanes my word the other was it was, it was really bad I mean, we had to watch trucks play Tetris on the road, and then we ourselves had to play Tetris on the road. And then there were moments where we were literally by ourselves, like there was no other cars coming. And so, I mean, can you imagine if we got stuck there and there'll be like no one there? But anyway, we finally got to the N1 and then obviously just plowed through. But we got here, we left Woodisburg at 8 o'clock. We only got in and over. It like half past four. We are both tired out. Tonight we're just gonna have supper here and then we are gonna have a full day tomorrow. I think we're gonna sleep in. We're just so tired and then maybe just walk around in Hanover. Hello from Hanover in the Northern Cape. But we are staying at a beautiful place called Boutique Guest House and it is just immaculate. They upgraded us as well. That was really nice of them. When we arrived here, we kind of just plopped ourselves on the bed and then we had supper here last night so I couldn't really show you the supper because we sat at a long table with other guests so we kind of just ate, spoke to the two couples that were here they're quite older than us and Kuzi and I are quite used to the fact that we're always the young, young ones or the young couples kind of doing these clean door piece <laughs> Um, but Hanover is definitely a uh, overnight town because it's kind of in the middle of if you're driving from Cape Town to Joburg type of situation so but we decided to stay here for two nights just because our trip in general has been very long and we want to just really relax so today's a full full day here in Hanover and we could have had breakfast here but there's no point given that otherwise we're gonna be a like literally on this property and just having like breakfast and supper instead of getting a chance to explore so we're gonna go and see if there is breakfast at the Hanover Hotel which is one of the oldest hotels here and yeah let's go and explore a little bit of this Glen Dorpy and get the show on the road but look how pretty is it So we at the Hanover Hotel for breakfast and of course the coffee machine doesn't work so we have to have blunder coffee but that's okay. <laughs> We currently walking because we ran over. So for the most part, we have literally just been in bed, 
doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm just relaxing, but we are gonna go to a restaurant called Feathers. We have placed a takeaway order, and then we're gonna walk back and go and enjoy it where we are. So it is extremely cold. Extremely cold. Extremely cold. And the sun is like, was it going down? I'm surprised so, yeah. it's not dark, dark. No. So, what's it about now? Oh, six. Oh, six. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep walking. A barbecue chicken one. Come on. Yummy. Lovely. Good morning from our moving car. And it's now officially we've left Hanover. It's been a really, really good holiday. We had a restful time in and in Hanover. That is a town that is literally an overnight town. There is basically nothing. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this 